Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on people, this is Influence and I'm back with another uh, video. This time I'm talking about the PS5. Um, yeah, been a little snafu, I never got my pre-order. I missed the first round. And right now, what you're seeing is me going on the second round, which was like, well, not the second round. I don't know. It might be the third or fourth round, but it, it was last week when all the places were restocking. So here I'm just going through the motions. Anybody that's trying to get one, you know what motions I'm going through. Uh, trying to trying to update this and and refresh but anyway I, so i missed the first i missed the first initial pre-order uh from that little the way they put it up uh we all know that story so they were everybody was restocking last week i tried to get one last week when they were restocking that's what i'm doing here and i think i i, I went through i was refreshing all the websites ps direct uh, best buy uh, I don't know why I was on Best Buy here because they they just got some last night, but uh, and online, and I I ended up with getting one in my car at Target, but you'll see that in a in a minute. Yeah, I was at GameStop. I I didn't really want to buy it from GameStop, but I, I would if I had to. Um, it, it's a bundle. Now, the bundle ain't bad. I mean, I hate that they force you to get a bundle, but some of the bundles, I mean, they have two games, two controllers. Well, one uh, extra controller. So it's stuff that you're going to buy or I'm going to buy anyway. If you're truly not going to buy it, the bundle wouldn't be good for you, but I'm going to buy it anyway. And it usually is the same price. It's not a deal. Like it's, you know, most of the time the bundles aren't deals. They're just uh, they're just bundled together because they're trying to sell more stuff, um, which that's what doesn't sit well with me. They try to force you to buy more stuff, but since I'm buying it anyway, uh, I'm like I'm gonna get whatever I can. Um, so you know you gotta keep refreshing. I'm going to all the websites refreshing. I think GameStop, yeah, GameStop said it had one left in stock, and I could not get the button. Well, I couldn't have it add to cart. Like it said, add to cart. I kept pushing it. It would not go. I know you, I'm just clicking everywhere. I'm like clicking on, I'm trying to see what I can do. So I'll go back, going back to the other websites. Um, go on the, and, and Best Buy, Best Buy was jacked up. I think everybody was there trying to get an order secured. So uh, again, I'm at Target and I'm trying to, trying to get stuff together. It's not working. Um, so finally, I get one in Best Buy, and it's in it's uh it was in my cart, but it wouldn't let me it wouldn't let me go there. Like it wouldn't let me go do anything when I was trying to do it. Uh, so B and H, I was trying to get get one at B and H, but they blocked me. I don't like their website anyway, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, buy anything from there anyhow. So then here, I believe this is uh, Target. And I had everything together. I had everything in my payment, everything. And it just, this is what it was doing. So now we get two coals. So last night, Coles did a drop and nobody knew about it. It was, uh, I, I don't know what was going on. It just popped up. I just went into a random stream and Coles happened to be there. <laughs> Somebody said, Coles is live. So it was like 1150 when they said that. So I, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't paying the stream no mind really. So. I was waiting for Best Buy because Best Buy was supposed to drop last night too, possibly, but they actually dropped this morning like at 4 a.m. So Coles uh, was was live and everybody was screaming in the chat that Coles got systems. 
So I finally made it over there. Well, I couldn't get on the website. So I got on the app and I finally got through. I didn't remember my login. So I was just like, I'm checking out as a guest because I didn't want to waste no time. So then I checked out as a guest and it said success. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm like, oh, crap. Then I remember I didn't take a screenshot. So I'm like, oh, I hope all my information is correct. I mean, it was. I, I made sure I put all that stuff in correctly, but um, I still was. I didn't have no order number or anything because I didn't have. I checked out as a guest. So that was funny. Uh, I was panicking for a minute. And they sent me this confirmation email, which had my order number, said thanks for ordering. Uh, shipping one item and said estimate arrival. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm good. It's all good. I'm gravy. Then people's in the chat like, yo, we in some other streams and it seems like mad people are buying these and they're getting them. Start putting two to two together. So I'm thinking like, oh man. Then everybody started getting confirmation emails. So people naturally, they're thinking it says some of the emails said in fulfillment. Some of them said you can't change your order anymore. So people was like, we good because if you can't change it, they can't change it. And I'm like, nah, that ain't true because you can change if if they can, they can do whatever they want. Basically, uh, they're the, they're the, the, the store. They can change the order if they ain't got enough orders. That's what I was thinking was happening. The rumor is they sold 100,000 last night and they only had 2,000 units. I don't know how true that rumor is because the other caveat is if that's true, that means 100,000 people got $180 free because this was a bundle. Now, this bundle was 639 but it was a great bundle. It had an extra controller, which I was going to buy anyway in Spider-Man Ultimate Edition, which came with Miles Morales in the remastered version of uh, the first Spider-Man. So I think that was a great price. Plus, you got 180 bucks back for Kohl's cash, where you can only use it at Kohl's. But still, they have a lot of stuff. So it's like $180 and you use it for Christmas gifts, whatever. So, uh, and that brings me to, so I thought it was all good. People started getting canceling emails this morning, and I didn't get any emails all day. So I thought I was all good. And then about uh, maybe an hour ago, which is Monday now uh, in the morning, uh, this popped up. <laughs> and then, as you can see, your order has been canceled because your item or items are no longer available. So obviously, that's what they sold. They oversold. Something must have been wrong with their system. Because I heard, I, I bought one at like 11.58 or 11.59, something like that. Or maybe it was 12, at 12. I can't remember. Um, I think it was like 11.58 when I went over there and it got canceled. So I know people were still buying them at like one and two o'clock in the morning. So I, the, the only thing I'm mad about this is Best Buy dropped at four in the morning. I waited up until 3.30 or so to see if Best Buy would drop. And then I just said, forget it. I went to bed and... I would have got a system from there because Best Buy actually did some stuff to fight the bots, which is great. And maybe that's why they waited so long to drop more stock or maybe they oversold. I heard a rumor they over, over, oversold also. So maybe they had to fulfill some of those orders uh, before they could drop more stock. But in any case, Best Buy had I uh, heard a capture and like something you had to read, put in your email or, or something in a code. I don't know what they did, but somehow they did something. I know a lot of people got systems because bots have been eating up systems. Um, but this this kind of is uh, disappointing because I did not stay up for Best Buy because I just was like, all right, uh, I got one. I thought maybe I got one. And that kind of swayed me to go to bed because I was tired and I didn't really wake up early enough to uh, get the Best Buy one. And I probably wouldn't have got it anyway just because I didn't want to buy two at once. Uh, that's the other thing. They took the money out of your account. They're going to refund it. I mean, there's no way they can't. But it's going to take a few days. So if you super, super need that money, uh, that's the other uh, terrible thing in all this because that's a lot of people. 
I mean, I'm hoping people that don't super need it are buying a PlayStation 5, but I can't say, I can't tell people what to do with their money if they saved up and that's all the cash they have, then they can't buy it somewhere else until they get their refund. So that sucks. Hopefully they get their refund tomorrow. Um, I know Wednesday Walmart is doing the drop, so we'll see. But I appreciate you listening to my story. And I will get up with you guys in another video. Peace.